I'm so stoked because I haven't been in the... everyone the wind isn't spot on but it's good enough so it's time to jump in the boat now we're loaded up we'll go get eaten we'll get out there Let's go. Um, got something decent I think but it is very small gear so it might feel bigger than it is what's that a little spango That might be a keeper, that one. Yeah, it's not really what we were expecting. We are trying to get trout, but I'm happy with that. He's 40, we'll keep him, but I don't think he's going to make 40. He'll be no, quiet. not massive. Oh, I reckon he's size, but... Nah, just under. He's lucky, though. Might be good jack. Is it a good jack? Oh no, another spango. Ah yeah. right, well, I've just caught lunch, I think. I'm just fishing with this little vibe. Rowan's got on a soft plastic. Guys, I'm out on the water now with Eden, as you can see here, and so far we've only got the one spango and a few flag. Well, we got two spangos actually, but in the bag we've kept one spango and one flag. The wind, although it probably doesn't sound too bad thanks to the microphone and the flat water behind us, the wind is probably blowing about 18 knots at the moment. We haven't had a good weather window yet this morning. We've pulled up at this spot where we have caught the spangos and I stuck my head over the side through my sight glass and saw a decent trout straight away. So Eden hasn't been in the water for probably six months now, I reckon, for a dive. The Could... conditions have to be primo for me to get in. Yeah, so it's been that long for her. And anyway, she's volunteered to suit up today and jump in with me. So the visit is actually surprisingly good despite the wind. So we're going to jump in now, hopefully the tide's slack enough. It is a full moon at the moment, so we don't want the full spring tide, but if it's good, we'll stay in there. Anyway, I'm going to chuck the GoPro on my head, just because I'm going to be diving with her and there's ledges here where we're going to be looking for coral trout down there. I'm going to have the torch in my other hand, so I probably won't be pointing the camera around too obsessively. 
at the moment, but we're going to jump in. Eden's going to carry the 900, I'm going to carry the 1100 rail gun, and we're going to go cruise around, hopefully plug a trout, and then see if we can get a blue bone in the boat as well. And maybe if the weather holds out, we'll go out a little bit deeper and go for a jig. Good shroud up here, so if you get a good shot, just take your chance. stoked guys because I haven't been in the water in like six months probably since we went to Fortescue last and um, we saw this trout down there and I just went straight for it it went under a ledge and then it kind of like peeked back through and stared straight at me so I got him got a pretty good shot on him and yeah I'm super happy with that all right, so super proud of Eden with that one. She did well to get back in the water. It's a big thing for anybody to get in the water and spearfish, let alone my pretty little girlfriend. So we got one trout in the bag. There was also another trout with it. So I'm probably gonna jump back in now. Whether or not Eden wants to come back in. I'll come back in. Is entirely up to her, so she reckons she will. So I'm gonna gear back up now, go look for that other trout. I think I saw a blue bone cruising around as well. So we'll see what's in there and see if we can plug another fish and get it back to the boat. But. This time it's my turn on the trigger and we'll see what we can get. Now Rowan's just having another quick look before we decide to move spots. So we knew these fish were here, they weren't taking the plastics or jigs so we jumped in and they found out the hard way that they were coming to the boat today. So what we're going to do now is pull the anchor up, we're going to mosey on out of here and we're going to go search for some clearer ground, hopefully find some blue bone or something. If we can't get back in with the viz because the tide's starting to change now, we'll go out into sort of the 20 metre range, we're in 5 metres right now. We'll try to drop some jigs or plastics down and see what else we can get, but that's our trout limit done for the day, so these guys will go away now and we'll cruise on through. so that will get me through for another six months until I feel like I need to jump in again. Hey! It's not dead 
fair dip, so I just gotta be careful there. Hold it. Hold it. Oh. Yeah. Sorry, slipped off the spear. I knew by seeing the smaller blue bone down there that this decent one would come through, so I just hung around for a few minutes, had a bit of a look around. He came in and I managed to get a good shot through. Unfortunately, with my shot though, the flopper didn't go through because he went straight through the gill plate. The flopper didn't engage on the side of him and I was very, very lucky to actually be able to get a hand on him and get him into the boat. Made a mess in doing so because we hit him in the guts, but none of the meat's wasted on this one. It was all straight through the gill plate and through the guts. up out on the water now we weren't having too much luck on the rod and reel sort of like always tends to be our luck and we've decided to come back in now and we're filleting the fish so rather than just show you guys catch them this time around I don't think we'll cook them on camera but we'll at least show you cleaning them so Eden will come in and give you guys a look now we've just been having a bit of a play around with our dogs catching up with them after leaving them at home all day Boat's all clean, all the gear's clean, so now we just got the fun part of cleaning our catch. The nice part about that is this, that's the rewarding part where we get to see our hard earned efforts. So that's the coral trout there, a couple of nice white fillets. Frames will just be going in this bucket here for now straight in there and then back into the freezer when it's all done. So we'll just get the rest of these cleaned up. All right, the fish is all filleted, vacuum sealed in the freezer. We're very tired, we've had a massive day and I'm very sunburnt, Rowan's not. Um, so we're gonna head to bed, but thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one.